you tuned in to the Ruffin' and Rope Hour here on WDRB Media and WGIV, the soul of Charlotte. I am Dr. Business, and we're here on location at Bike Night once again. We are here celebrating those that have survived, those that have arrived through cancerous situations. We just salute them because it took perseverance, it took stick to itiveness, it took prayer, it took help and hope and courage to be able to get through their situation. So we're just here to love on them and to celebrate their survival and what it is that God has done in their life. We have Mike here on the microphone and he's going to share with us his bout with cancer and what it is that he had to go through as it relates to his situation. Mike. This cancer that I had was lip nose cancer, it's called. Lip nose cancer. Lip nose cancer. Okay. Three. Uh -huh. Three of them dead. So, for a while, we've gone through so many tests thinking it was an injection. Uh -huh. After my doctor, she checked me, she sent me to some specialists. They finally sent me to all the tests. And at the end, we found out I had to lift those steps. But they thought it was heartburn. Thought it was heartburn. Wow. Over oh, here, did not know. So they said, you just need to, you need to go back home, and you need to stop eating all that fast food, stop eating all that greasy food, stop eating all that Mexican food, and then you'll be healed. But that wasn't your story. That wasn't your case. No, it was not. Wow. The healing process is having faith. We're here at bike night. Here so they're showing off. They, they got them fancy bicycles. They are enjoying uh, Yes, they got the motorbikes going. Yeah. And they're making all kinds of noise in the background. But we love it being out here with our people. Yes, even motorcycle clubs do such a wonderful thing within the community. Their, their support and everything that they provide is an absolutely wonderful thing. Yes, it is. Yes. I was thinking it's most definitely is a wonderful thing. And it draws people closer together to have certain events like this. Absolutely. It oh, yes. Definitely oh, yes. Does. And me, myself, going through this cancer situation, it, it, it's a mostly a faith thing, and a lot of people, when they hear the word cancer, they think it's the end. No, it's not the end. It may be the beginning of the end, it's still not the end. That's right. Until the good master above That's right. calls on you. Until God says it's over, it ain't over. That's the, that is most definitely true. I went through the chemo and the radiation mm -hmm. for a year and a half. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good Went through the, the chemo and radiation, went from 145 pounds down to 89 pounds. 89 pounds? Yes. 89 pounds. Yes. Wow. In the hospital, in and out, with tests, body shut down, was on the tube feeding from my stomach for six months. Could not talk, eat, or drink anymore. Wow. Went through the chemo and radiation. And I would say one thing. I actually believe mostly it's the pain that you go through. But without the faith, I believe that's mostly the reason why a lot of people can't, can't survive it. The pain is, is unreal. Wow. It's so to where... It's hard to describe to anyone how the pain is, but me being a mechanic, I've gone through a lot of pain. Wow. Cars coming down on you, getting hurt, getting burned, getting cut. It could not touch the pain and the agony that you go through with the chemo, chemo and radiation. Me, wow. myself, I am a close believer in the Lord and Savior. Yes. And I know. Without the faith, you can pray for a person all you want to. Yes. But if that person, all it needs is faith of a mustard seed. You understand? Yes, yes. If they have just that little bit of faith, they can do it. But if they don't do it, it's the pain. It's the pain that you go through. It's most definitely the pain that you go through. But me, myself, I went through all of it. And was in and out of the hospital. I can say this much. 
you, when you, when you're going through so much, you can just give up and you go to sleep and it's over. Right. But if you have the faith, you can pull through anything that you want to pull through with. Wow. Having that faith. And that's what brought me through. So having faith, understanding having faith. the relationship that you have with the Lord. Yes. Knowing that he's the author and finisher of our faith. Recognizing and understanding that he has made us and not we ourselves. And Thank because you. he's the manufacturer of what it is that he's given us in this earthly vessel, we know that he can heal it. We know that he can turn the situation around. Yes. We know that he can make the crookedness go straight and yes. be able to cure anything, any disease, any situation Amen. that comes our way. Yes. Because he's the one that actually made us. So because yes. he made us, Thank he you. can cure us. Yes, sir. Thank we you just so have to have, as you said, faith. That's it. And the That's faith of a mustard seed. Yes. And sometimes, if we don't have enough faith ourselves, we need to surround ourselves with the faith community. Yes. So that they can pray for us and they can bless us and be in our presence to be able to encourage us to let us know that we need to keep on keeping on. Amen on that. Yes, sir. Because until God says it's over, it's not over. That's the truth. And we got to keep persevering. That we way. have to keep moving Amen. forward in whatever life brings us. Because in life, there will be hardship. Yes. In life, there will be situations and circumstances that won't work out for our good. Amen on that. But as long as we keep moving, as long as we keep going through the tunnel, guess what? There's going to be light at the end of the tunnel. Amen. We just have to keep moving. And oftentimes, we end up stopping. And when we stop, Yes. That's when the momentum stops, yes. and that's when we start having our pity parties, and we start Amen. following in whatever it is yes. that we're having to deal with. Yes. But if we keep moving one step at a time, eventually we'll get to the end, we'll cross the finish line, yes. and God will say, well done, my good and faithful servant. Man on that. See, yes. you're here today because of your testimony. Yes. You're here today because what it is that you've gone through is inspiration for somebody else. What it is that you've experienced, the hurt, the pain, the turmoil, the financial loss, Amen. the brokenness of body, that's an encouragement for somebody else, letting them know that they can survive, they can live, and they can get to the other that side. The well, I'm so proud of you. Well, thank you so much. You are an inspiration to us all. So we certainly bless you and pray for you. Thank Your you. continued strength in the Lord. Thank you. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you so much. You are a walking, talking testimony thank of you, the sir. goodness of the Lord. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Family. Yeah. You heard it here, WDRB Media, WGIB, The Soul of Charlotte. I am Dr. Business, and we'll be right back.